This is an install of a forward bilge pump on a Centurion a 2018 FI21 should work for the uh, other variants too. First we take the uh, floor out. There's just, uh, uh, depending on the boat, six to uh, ten screws, Phillips heads, and then you get access to everything under here. Um, I bought this uh, Whale Super Sub 1100 pump, and this is not the automatic pump. I'm going to wire mine so that I can switch it on and off manually. I don't want it to uh, automatically run. Anyway, um, got this inch and an eighth hose, bilge pump hose from uh, eBay. You can probably find it at some hardware stores. Anyway, so this is gonna run down the side here. Yeah. This pump, I specifically bought it because it was low profile and it tucks right underneath the fuel tank. And then uh, there's some baffles here. Uh, under the fuel tank that will not allow you to go farther forward. There's no access Or I should say not enough access up there to get a pump in there. So I'm just putting it as far forward as possible uh, And then I'm gonna run the hose up through here Don't mind the mess um, And I found an extra uh, overflow drain up here underneath the side with a uh, hose. Closer view of the ports. You can see the ballast drains, the black hoses, but fortunately I had exactly the right diameter open port for this bilge hose. And I'm gonna secure this up under the dash and then there's a space down here next to the battery compartment where um, the factory's already ran a bunch of hoses and uh, wiring through. So we just run it down through there and then underneath the floor to the, uh, where we're gonna stash the bilge pump. The hard part is gonna be securing the bilge pump. I'm thinking that I can just back it up to one of those ribs and then uh, zip tie it down and it'll lay flat and it'll suction what usually is 10 to 15 gallons of leftover bilge water that the rear bilge pump doesn't take care of. So I've got the initial uh, power set up here off the second battery, not the starter battery, because you don't want to run that one dead starter. And uh, I'm just going to run it down through the hole and take my fish tape. That's what this thing is called. It's kind of a coiled up mess, but can run that up underneath the dash here and then go underneath the front seat and pull it up and then you attach your power wire to it pull it back toward you and you'll need to bring two wires toward you away from the switch so I found it was actually easier to go from under the dash here um, and to uh, push the fish tape down along all these hoses and wires if you stick your arm all the way down there, uh, you can kind of feel where the wires go and shove the fish tape through that area. It's not easy, but it can be done. I've done it twice. On my last video with the Centurion, I put the uh, wiring for the paddle wheel down through there, but uh, it can be done. So push the fish tape through there. And then if you push it all the way down and then reach, up under here toward this area you can feel the fish tape and then you pull the end out and uh, there you've got your your lead and then you attach the wires and pull them back through. Rather than running two wires separately I just took what wire I had and um, made it in half ran it through here so I'm gonna pull these two like this that way I have two at once and then I'll just cut it when I'm ready to put the switch on. So now I go back over here and uh, I just pull the wires from here down through like that. So I've got the uh, power and the negative, the ground wired. Ground goes directly to the pump 
power goes over to the switch that I mounted underneath the dash and then there's another lead that goes from that switch down to the pump. Now the switch can go wherever you want. I decided to put it down here out of the way. Um, the only chance of it getting turned on accidentally is if you're down here fooling with the heater vent. But uh, I wanted it as far away from everything else as possible so that nobody else would mess with it. So, because it's wired off of that second battery, it could drain that battery and possibly burn up the pump if it's left on. So it's just gonna have to be a memory item.